Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu took to Twitter to explain why he went to Moscow and met with Putin. I just finished good and intensive talks with Russian President Vladimir Putin. I told him Israel views seriously two developments. First, Iran's attempt to establish itself militarily in Syria. The second, Israel's attempt to create in Lebanon precise weaponry to be used against Israel. I made it clear to him we won't agree to any one of these developments and we will act as needed. Netanyahu's meeting was followed up by an article by an Israeli general. He said Iran is turning Lebanon into one big missile factory while the international community looks the other way and warned the people of Lebanon they've become pawns in the hands of Iran. He wrote the ordinary citizen will be mistaken to think that this process turns Lebanon into a fortress. It is nothing more than a barrel of gunpowder on which he, his family and his property are sitting. One in every three or four houses in southern Lebanon is a headquarters, a post, a weapons depot, or a Hezbollah hideout. We know these assets and know how to attack them accurately if required. Right now, uh, you know, Lebanon is effectively a fully owned franchise of Islamic Republic of Iran. Many Mideast observers like Jonathan Spire, the author of Days of the Fall, a reporter's journey in the Syria and Iraq wars, feel that Lebanon no longer controls its own destiny. What it confirms is just the extent to which today uh, Hezbollah and the other clients of uh, Iran have effectively swallowed up Lebanon. That's to say, from originally constituting a kind of state within a state in Lebanon, they have now, as of, of recent months, effectively swallowed up the real state. The General's article is just one of the latest warnings by Israel that the next war with Hezbollah will not be like the last one. This won't be like it was in 2006, a little kind of border skirmish or series of skirmishes between the Israel Defense Forces and Hezbollah. No, this will have the dimensions of a state-to-state -state conflict. From Israel's point of view, Hezbollah and Lebanon today are the same thing. And if war comes again, therefore, it will be a war between the state of Israel and the state of Lebanon this time around. It remains to be seen if Lebanon, Russia and the international community will heed the warnings by Israel. Chris Mitchell, CBN News. Jerusalem.